In a year where we've had two Stephen King book to movie adaptations, we now have a third with the Netflix original movie titled Gerald's Game. This film was written and directed by Mike Flanagan, who was the man behind Ouija Origin of Evil, Hush, and Oculus. This movie tells the story of a woman and her husband, one portrayed by Carla Gugino and the other portrayed by Bruce Greenwood. And they decide to take a trip to a remote house in the middle of the woods in an attempt to spice up their sex life. Unfortunately, because of a terrible accident, this woman is left handcuffed to her bed with no one around to help her. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, there's a vicious, flesh-eating dog right outside the door. So probably not an awesome day. Mike Flanagan is one of my favorite directors working in horror right now. With last year's Ouija Origin of Evil, he proved that he could take a franchise like Ouija was trying to do, and which was unwatchable, and actually make it into something very entertaining and very fun. And much like last year's Hush, we now have another contained thriller. And I had a great time with this movie. This film had the potential of being very mediocre. It could just be about this one person being stuck in this terrible situation, and the entire movie is them trying to devise a way to best get out of this situation. There are definitely elements of that, but that's not just what this movie has to offer. There are definitely some deep themes in this movie about past and taking ownership of something and blaming yourself for something that wasn't your fault at all. And it's just one of the best character studies that I've probably seen this year. Carly Gugino portrays this woman, and as I said, she is on the screen for about, uh, 99% of this entire movie, so her performance is pivotal to the success of this film. And she does such an excellent job. In fact, she gives one of the best female performances of the year. Her character has a very troubled upbringing, so when she starts to hallucinate and kind of go crazy, she starts to see visions of people from her past. And that's where a lot of this emotional weight comes into play. And I really wasn't expecting that from this film. This movie has a lot to say about what happens to you when you keep your past picked up inside you and how you can blame yourself for certain things that you have no control over and I was very impressed and some of the things that she has visions about in this movie and some of the imagery in this film is downright chilling to my bones and Mike Flanagan once again proves how talented he is there are definitely several images in this movie that will be seared into my mind for a while oh and guess what this movie has, like, hardly any jump scares. I know! Isn't that crazy that there are other tools that directors can use to get an effective scare out of the audience? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Had something, uh... Caught in my throat. But overall, Gerald's Game is an incredibly effective thriller that is ushered along by great writing, fantastic acting, and a deft director who continues to prove that he is one of the best in the business at what he does. So did you guys see Gerald's Game? What did you think about it? Leave your thoughts and opinions down below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you liked today's video. And if you did, click a link down below and subscribe to my channel some more movies, more related things. Guys, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.